So after that shithole of Spiral Corridor, <laughs> we're finally... <laughs> we're finally just waking up from that nightmare. Ugh. But is but... there a Catherine? No? Huh? No. Is there? Nope. Not on top of you, anyway. Aw. <laughs> Does you remember Steve dying? Yep. Aw. Yeah, that's the only part of the dreams he does remember. What, people dying? Probably. That's really fucking sad. Which one is- is that Orlando? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I hate when you can't remember your dreams. Nowadays, when I have a weird dream, I just wake up, stare at the ceiling for a couple of moments, like, that's a weird dream, and I go back to sleep. Yeah, I always have weird dreams, but I've only had, like, one true nightmare. And, like, I've had other nightmares that have scared the crap out of me, but, like, none, none like, one true nightmare. Like, I've had a, um... Ooh, news. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I've had, like, a nightmare type thing. Uh -huh. so sad. I'm sorry. I had a nightmare thing when I was a kid. Like, uh, I, my parents weren't paying attention to me, and I got abducted by, like, a dinosaur. Which is just a stupid dream. But it was, like, a nightmare to me because my mom wouldn't listen to me screaming for her. Which is sad. All my nightmares tend to have something to do with me, like, not being able to scream. I have those types everyone, of nightmares too. Everyone, when somebody dies, oh my god, I met them like one time in Walmart, they bumped into me. <laughs> Alright, so we learned in the news that the Steve Delham is actually the same Steve that died in our nightmare last night. And the same Steve that called, yep. uh, saying that he that you were cheating on his girlfriend what she was cheating on his wife on yep that's crazy talk man what he's saying but that's right it's it's starting to come back to me now he said it was a curse because he betrayed someone hey cut that out Trying to tell me he was killed in his dreams or something? This is so fucking crazy. Well, maybe this is so good. It. The rumor? Maybe it's true. The dreams we've been having every night. Did you honestly just say that? Yeah, I did. Betrayal. I'm the one that got betrayed. Yeah. Sorry. Enough bullshit. We just can't think straight because we're too damn tired. Eat more sushi. Yeah, exactly. We can't sleep because all this crazy shit stuck in our I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of sushi, though. Gets back and in again, the name. Could... Wait, you were right, Vincent. That could be because we don't have any good sushi places over here where I'm at. I love sushi. If I want good sushi, I'd have to go to Denver for that. Louisiana sushi is pretty good because they do like crawfish sushi and whatnot, and just, like right. seafood sushi, and it's really good. Well, you love crawfish in general, so. Alright, so he has his mindset. Of course, this happens no matter what ending you're going for, so. Yeah. I find this to be a little bit contrived myself. Oh, so, like, even if you were, um. Go, going you towards were... Catherine Tits McGee. Yeah, yeah. if you were, so if you were fully Catherine committed Tits for true cheater ending from the very get go, this is kind of a stupid thing to do. I mean, I get it. They can't. Plot hole. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. Toby became a man. <laughs> Wait, with who? Oh my god. Seriously. Yeah, but there was something weird about it. You know, I can't really explain it. Yeah, it's probably just Yeah, uh, we'll oh we'll learn more about that later on in the plot. <laughs> so what happened to John? Are you coming by yourself? 
Oh my god. Yeah, avoid the conversation altogether. I see. Kinda weird everyone's tired all the time. Yep. Wait, is uh Toby in the nightmares? No. No, huh? Okay. Nope. Thought so. He's the only one who got away from it all. on my mind you came along I guess I was trying to escape reality oh like her more than me look I'm sorry yeah she's someone I really need to hold dear uh, like I was saying this makes sense if you're going for the tr for the true, true lover ending. ending it does but if you're going for the true cheaters ending and have been doing so since night one this makes no fucking sense And if you're going for true cheater's ending, okay, I can understand a little bit of how this would make sense, but still. Oh! She's trying to aim for an open relationship, but Vincent's not having it. Wait, this thing happens even if you're still going with the true cheaters? Yep. yep. That's dumb. Because this is the basic storyline, and they couldn't change it that much. Oh, so if he does true cheaters, he decides to be with her? I, I couldn't yeah, but you still gotta go through all this bullshit. Yep. Mm. You, the only thing that changes, depending on the ending you get, is the very end. Mm. You'll see. You'll see what we mean when we get to that ending, and you can tell wh where the difference is going to be. So, like, if, if he did the true cheaters, would this still like this very, very in this part? Would he still be like crying? I mean, would she still be crying? Him saying like it was a mistake and like leaving? Yes. Damn. Yep. Just went with the flow. So. Oh, I hate it when people are like, "You're still young." She, yeah, because he's only like what five years older than her. I thought it was ten years. Yeah, Gary it's 10 said. Years. And, yeah, it's she's thirty-two. Years. She's twenty-two. But like, yeah, no, I hate 22. it when people are like, "No, I." Just I thought she. I thought you said she was twenty-nine. Nope, twenty-two. He's thirty-five. No, he's 32. Vincent Brooks and Catherine McBride is thirty-two years old. Catherine oh, Blondie is twenty-two. Okay. I think Which I missed I something. I she I just stormed dead. off. Why did he chase after her? And into the bathroom. Oh. This is where... This is where things get a little tricky here. Tricky? You mean weird? Weird, tricky, <laughs> eh. least he's being nice and trying to say sorry, but I'm really excited for this. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Are you an idiot? Yeah, Vince is an idiot. Well, he does admit it. <laughs> Boss is like, oh, what's going sleep. on in there? <laughs> he is just like, again? <laughs> I had to clean that up uh, from last night. Uh, I'm getting sick and tired of this job. <laughs> well, I imagine being the owner of a bartender, this happens far too regularly for him to even care. Yep. Oh, he just got kicked in the balls. No weapon. <laughs> That's what I love, because my first thought is, where was she hiding a weapon? That was Vincent's voice. In all honesty, oh, I hate it when men are taught not to hit girls. That is a great teaching. But when girls hit guys constantly and they beat them, and guys just sit there and do nothing, and the girls take advantage of that. It's kind of like a stereotypical role reversal when the girl you gets power standard. from the weak. From the weak, huh? The term is double standard. Mm, 
yeah, um, but like... No, it's like a role reversal because like usually the guy tries to make the girl like guy gets power from the girl being weak But this girl like these kind of girls are getting it from the boys being weak I feel like if I am punching out a guy He has the total right to stop me not to like beat me up, but to like Like hold me down and be like yo stop just gonna have to swear never to do this again. It's not the right thing to do, but just pretend this was a bad dream. I like how Orlando is the only one among these three who has the best eyelashes. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong! Wait, I need to see them again. This isn't something I can keep quiet about. Look, just don't stress yourself. Just Come on, lift your head up, Orlando. Today and get some sleep, okay? Lift your head up! Him again. All right, so we're the, we're the only ones in this bar tonight. Uh, we don't speak with Todd, Archie, Justin, or the cop. It's just us in the bar. We can speak with Boss, Erica, get our drinks, and get the fuck out of here. Oh, so you haven't seen them even since the nightmare? Oh, I wonder yep. what happened to them. Nobody tell me. No, they're all right. Don't worry. All right. So did they, um, I don't know if you find this out later, is it given that they fight their own shadows? Or is it all Shadow Vincent? You um, know what? I'm not or I don't exactly even know sure if they go up that. to the cathedral part. Well, I felt, does it really matter? I mean, a shadow of you is gonna be terrifying no matter yeah. whose face is on it. I just wonder how, why Steve was in that, um, level with you. What the hell was that? <sighs> Gary got sent a dick pic. <laughs> Here's some beer trivia since you just totally finished your glass. But some cocktails exist for the opposite reason. One such cocktail is the prairie oyster. Ooh. Made to fix hangovers. Oh my god. Don't know, don't know how well it works. Alcohol. Tomato juice, vinegar. Worcestershire sauce. Okay, no alcohol in it. Okay. So that the yolk remains Ooh. Yeah, my thought too. That's my Yeah, interesting cocktail trivia. Sorry, I had a phone call by the way. Mm. It was a dick pic. <laughs> Erica, I need more alcohol. Yeah, let's have another beer. Also, you can speak with Martha and that other chick. I don't know if I do though. I'll treat you to a drink. Hope you rest easy tonight. Thanks, Erica. Yeah. Okay, I think I do speak of them. Would you like to speak to Martha? Yeah, they're the only ones there. <laughs> I'll tell you a wonderful story. Over seventy thousand people die of I oh, know copies every year in this country. Oh my god. Is that true? That wouldn't surprise me. I don't know, but we get a lot of pub I mean, in cop shows, that's hella, 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 like, uh... I think they might have mixed up the... I think they, I think they might have mixed up the numbers a little bit, because that sounds a little bit ridiculous. Yeah. Also, speak with these oh ladies God. to be sure that the guys are okay. Yeah, because they'll know. Yep. They're All right. Like... Got some mail. Just tell us congratulations. Damn, they're congratulations. like some... Congratulations. They need to anyway. open up like a, a psychic shop together. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they did. Let's speak with Boss here. What's up, sir? Yeah, after you just got punched in the spleen and probably kicked in the nuts with a weapon. Wine, women, and dice. Those 
Wine woman and dice. Oh my gosh. Thanks. Thanks, boss. Anyway. Hey. Hey. Hi, Catherine. Texting me. Aww. Just to be sure, you do get the true lover's ending, yes? yes? Okay. I do get the true lover's ending. It also depends because in the last level, you get asked the set of questions that actually determines what ending you'll get. Hmm. So, there's that. Dante and like Dante's Inferno? Yep. Possibly. Speaking of, I should get around to doing that game for my channel. For a second, I was like, you're gonna read Dante's Inferno for your channel? Let, nope. let them read it themselves. No, nope. no, it's a video game. Yeah. Although it would be All funny right. if he started spouting poetry on his gaming channel. No, you need to so, play it, and then you've got to have, like, somebody with a voice like Gilbert Gottfried and just have them read that in the background. What an asshole! That Lucifer! My clitoris! Did I just hear something? <laughs> <laughs> do it! Do it! I bet people would love it! Anyway. So we get okay, this text. Who is that from? Uh, it's from... I think it's from Ishtar? Not Ishtar. Um, that woman. Mm. With red okay. hair. Okay. I forget her name. Oh, yeah, uh, Sulfro. Yes. Anyway, we're just gonna finish our beer here, and then we're gonna go home. This is the only night that Catherine of the Sea doesn't show up. Because if he stayed here otherwise, you know, every other night he knows that the guy's like, hey, we're done here, you wanna go home? Mm. If he chooses to stay in the bar, Catherine of the Sea will show up. It's quite uncanny. Oh yeah, the um... Yeah, under, uh, in America, I don't know about state laws, but I know if you are... I think I mentioned this before already in earlier videos, but um... If you are inside, uh, at, like inside a house, and your parents allow it, you are allowed to drink. I don't remember what age, probably the age of like 13, 14 and up, but like your parents have to be okay with it and you can't go outside or cause a ruckus or anything, like your parents are completely responsible for you and you can't get like poisonous, like you can't, they have to control what you're drinking too, like you have to be all sure of it. Like some parents do that to make sure their kids know their limit before they go out and do something stupid. Right. I think that, I think with that, I think that's uh, allowed from the age 16 and up. Mm. But you're just not allowed to purchase alcohol on your own until yeah. you're 21. 21. See, I would be the parent to do that, just to be like, get my kids and my kids' best friends' parents and be like, hey, you want to like do a party and have our kids like drink a little bit of like, you don't know, some like nice wine and just be like, yeah, that sounds really bad, but it's a lot better to be in a home situation with their friends rather than them sneak out at night and go to a party because they want to try. Alrighty. I think we're done here, so we're gonna go home. I just check around see if there's anyone here. And I think I Walk go to the restroom the before I go home. Because if we wash our face, well... Walking in circles and cut my Not that you actually saw anything this time. <laughs> No, uh, you saw a knife being inserted into Vincent's back. Oh, I didn't see that. See? She didn't see it either. It's like well, there for I saw, a... I saw the blood. Oh, I saw a lot of it. it. Hmm? What? What's up? What? Hang I don't on. Know what's going on? No, it's just something weird going on. Anyway, let's go ahead and go home. Call it a night. Yeah, I'm sure. 
sorry for causing a lot of trouble. I apologize to the boss for me. <laughs> See ya. All right. Well, if I got in a fight, I'd be out. Like, I'd be so embarrassed. Yeah. I would just go sit in the shower and wallow in my self-misery. Yep. <laughs> All right. So here we are. Eighth day. No nightmare stage. Yet. <laughs> Yet. Oh, God. Starting to go crazy, Vincent. Well, I really feel rested. Really? You just had a hallucination there. Are you sure? What, you don't have a hallucinations immediately Does after he have waking just... Oh my god. He has boxers on hangers. I'm saved? Yeah. He has boxers on hangers. Hello? Is anybody here home? It's a tiny ass apartment. It is a very tiny ass apartment. But you know what? With the situation I'm in right now, I wouldn't mind being in a one-bedroom apartment. This isn't even a one-bedroom. This is more like a... One room. Yeah, it's a, just a studio apartment. It's tiny. Are they still knocking on his door? What? Oh my god. Not again? Just leave me alone. I want to sleep. Can I have that, please? Just some sleep? I would get up so quick and just be like, hey. I'm trying to sleep here. Leave me alone. Vincent? Oh, hi, Catherine. Alright. Time to sell things. Yeah, I was asleep. Oh, sorry, oh, God. but you weren't answering your phone. We need to talk, okay? We do? Okay. That's a bad Come sign. On. Yeah, it is. Hello? Uh, huh? Who's that? Uh, what, what, what are you doing here? Oh, God, this can't be happening. So you need oh to my God. with Vincent, right? Come in, make yourself at home. Oh, my God. How about a cup of coffee? Hmm? Oh, boy. We are going inside, and you're going to tell me exactly what's going on here. What is going on? So, now I see why people cosplay her. It would appear you have another woman in your life. Yes? No, no, no. It, it, she's just... I... If you're going to make excuses, can you at least look me in the eye? Sure, I can try. Yeah. Let's... Uh... Although he, like, took the time to put on... Oh, fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> you got into this even though you knew I was pregnant. With your child. Shit. I gotta fix this fuck up right now. No, 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 no. That, that isn't it. So what is it then? I thought you were acting a little weird recently, but this? It, it's not what you think. So much is going wrong. You gotta believe me here, okay? Here you go. And two sugars for you. Just the oh way my God. you like it, Vincent. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, oh, next to me. awkward. You. So what do you think? Maybe now would be a good time to break it to her, Vince. She's extra baggage in your life. Oh my god. Uh, I, I never said that. What are you saying? And I don't want to hear any more of your bullshit. Vincent, honey, you're not really gonna try oh my to god. be dumb now, are you? After all you've done to my body. <gasps> oh my god! Oh! <laughs> if you work hard enough to get something, you'll get it. Don't you think that's true? Well, he worked me hard, and now he's- Oh my god. Oh. This is fake. <laughs> Plus, I'm sure you have no idea of this even, but this one's a wild man in a sack. Oh my god. I don't think you can satisfy him anymore. What are you, damn sick in the head or something? Listen, honey. Vincent here only needs one thing in this world, all right? And it's sitting right next to him. Looks like Game Boy right next to him. And get out of here. Why the hell should I? You're the one who should be leaving, bitch! Careful. Oh, you shit. Keep making faces like that and you'll start getting wrinkles. Oh, you shit. Old granny. <laughs> you! You little whore! Damn it, Vincent! What can I say to fix this? Ahem. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> so, Ahem. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> Can you ever forgive me? You want me to forgive you? How can I? W wait a second. I can explain. I will never forgive you! Hey, hey, stop it! Oh my god. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Vincent's losing it. Oh my god. Oh boy. So is it over? Oh my god, what? What? Oh my god. What's the matter? Looking for this? Oh my god. Hey! Take it easy, will you? Getting into it, are we? Just listen to me. I've already called it off with her. She just stuck in here, okay? Please, you've got to believe me. It's because of you that Vincent's so confused right now. If you just go away, he could finally be free. Oh boy. Are you crazy? Oh my god. Ouch. Now, I've taken knives to different places, but never to his side. Catherine, <laughs> which one? No, 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 no. Is this really That's happening? a lot of blood. Yeah, you it think? Is. So I'm guessing that's the ending that changes. No, no. Calm down. We're not at the ending. Calm down. Oh my god. <laughs> Slap. Calm down. Just calm down. <laughs> Everything is gonna be fine. <laughs> All right. So Catherine at the sea is right dead. Now. Leave the rest to me. Just do it. But I... Come on. So now we have a plan to cover up the fucking. Well, I don't know how you get the blood, blood out of the but just... whoa. What's going on? What is this? What the hell is this? Welcome to the cathedral. Oh my god. This is so good. We have to run. Catherine, follow me! Alright, so in Cathedral, you have to not only save yourself, but save Catherine. Which can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Yeah, the AI isn't as great in this game. Oh, I hate but, when AIs kind of just sit there and you have to save them and it's just like, yeah. ah! Well, the only thing that you can do is press triangle to make her stay still, or make her come along. And, um, uh, well, believe it or not, so even if you I actually, the huh? Huh? No, I was gonna say, believe it or not, um, I get this on my one go. Oh my Hello. god. How you doing, beautiful? She is pregnant. She cannot be bouncing like that. She's. Um. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Do not, um, run, do not run away because she can die. And she's not yeah, as fast her... as you. Nope. You gotta keep her with you at all times. Okay, she's going the other direction. Which That's is not a bad thing. thing. No. So, um... So even with the true cheaters ending, you go through this stage with Catherine with a K? Yes. Yep. Alrighty. Make a bridge. Huh. But this stage isn't difficult. It's just that you have to deal with the stupid AI. Well, the Does AI is not that bad. I think that Catherine Tits McGee, scary Tits McGee, looks like, um, like a very, very evil, um, grown up. What's her name? Um. Angelica? Hmm? Angelica from Rod yes. Rugrat? Yes! Yes, you know immediately. <laughs> Heck yeah! Oh boy. Catherine, there you go, girl. Anyway, 
But yeah, like I said, you know, this stage isn't too bad. Would have been. Just, uh, you just have to uh, keep an eye on the AI. Don't leave her far behind, because if you do, well, she'll die. Make sure she doesn't get hit by that. Yeah. Meanwhile, you don't get hit by it either. I love how she's just like, what the fuck's going on? And he's like, I suddenly remember. I suddenly remember what I need to do. Follow me. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh. Not good. Let's try this again. Get, Keep up it. with me this time. Move! Oh. Move! <laughs> good job, Plaskary. And you just knocked her down. Nope. She's still following. But you she just knocked her down. She hangs to the down. side. She hangs out to the side when you need to jump on the block. It's just that, you know, two people can't be on the same block at the same time. One can be hanging, but, you know, you can't oh, exactly you better push set off, those, off when you're hanging. You better set off those traps. Yep, that's what I'm doing. All right. Thankfully, trap blocks don't get affected by the lightning bolt, so there's that. Sweet. They don't this turn into so crumbling blocks. Interesting. I'm sorry, like, I've been talking this whole time, and now I'm just, like, so focused. It's so good. Oh, boy. But what I should have done is pull two blocks. There we go. Oh, uh. my God. Ah! I'm scared, Mommy. I don't want to be here anymore. No! No, come on! No, come on, Catherine. You can do it! I believe in you! Fuck me! No, no. There you go. No, she's we'll alright. Okay. We'll be okay. Oh my god, that eyes. <laughs> Those eyes. Holy hell. Oh alright. No, no, scoot over, Gary. There you go. Alrighty. You're in the home stretch. Yes, but uh, Catherine just a couple inches behind us. This usually doesn't happen to me, but Jesus Christ. Well, you know, She's you can actually closer. run ahead at this point. It's not that yeah. big a deal. Well, uh, I just want to be sure that Catherine is still with me. Oh my god! Oh. Just go! Just go! Alright, right. come on! Made it! That was fucking close. Oh my gosh. We Those made cutscenes. it. Catherine! We're gonna be alright! We can make it back through here! The fact that he did that faster than back. her. Back to where we were. And his. like he's been stabbed. Yep. I'm sorry. I can't think of the future after all this. Catherine, calm down. You've got a child to think about too. I'll fix everything. It'll all be okay. What? You mean you and me? You still thought about us then? Of course I did. But I can't believe you anymore. I didn't want to cheat on you. I was just confused about our future, I guess. I snapped, I'm sorry. I know I did something I can't undo. Undo. Make undo. But undo. I <laughs> undo. I understand that now. No more you know, undo. This, this Please, scene Kat. just rings oh, so man. hollow, especially if you're going for the you. true cheater's ending, like I've mentioned any number of times already. This things. is the stupidest piece of bullshit. That always, that anime fall. Nice tackle. You just gotta believe in me. Please, Catherine. I can't lose you. Not like this. Vincent, to you. <sighs> <laughs> this is great timing! <laughs> well, viewers, while Gary goes and gets more dick pics. <laughs> 
Sophie and Claire are gonna sign you off with 10 seconds. Yeah, we got the silver! Oh, you did the thing, Gary! <laughs> Catherine in the next video.